Okay, so let's consider solution to variable separable differential equation. Any first order differential equation can be transformed into the total derivative form mdx plus ndy equals 0, both m and n are functions of x and y. If the equation can be written as follows no so m can be expressed as a product of the functions x and function y and also n can be expressed as the function of x and y n1 and n2 then the equation is said to be variable separable the solution can be obtained by evaluating the integral of the simplified function. For an initial value problem, okay, if this is your general solution, which is a function of x, y, and uh, arbitrary constant c, okay, the equation is associated with initial conditions x sub o and y sub o. So the solution is called particular solution. Once you substitute the initial conditions x sub o and y sub o in the general solution, you can compute for the value of c. And then substitute, substituting the value of c in the general solution you will obtain the particular solution. Okay, so let's solve the given differential equation. Now, the equation is variable separable no? because we can multiply the equation by 1 over x plus 1 here to eliminate x plus y this is dx so we eliminate y cube minus 1 by multiplying the whole equation by 1 over y cube minus 1 okay so your multiplier will be 1 over x plus 1 and 1 over y cube minus 1 so simplifying for the first term we get integral uh, we get y squared over y cubed minus 1 and then on the second term we have x squared over x plus 1 and then since the the variables are separated we can now integrate each term okay for the first term uh, we let u be equal to this will be your u equal to y cubed minus 1 the whose derivative or whose derivative is equal to okay 3 okay 3y squared dy so you have a correction factor of one third here uh, this will be your du okay with a correction factor of one third and then this one is improper so we divide sim uh, to simplify we divide x squared by x plus 1 okay so x squared over x is x and then multiply we get x squared here x times x x times 1 this plus x okay change the sign this is negative this is negative so this will cancel out when you add okay you get negative x here divide by x so minus 1 then multiply negative 1 times x plus 1 is negative x okay plus 1 
and then we change the sign oh sorry negative one this is negative one so this is positive this is also positive so adding we get one here okay so this is the remainder okay so this one is this is the correction factor and you know how du over u and then this is the expanded form the quotient so x minus 1 plus your remainder 1 over x plus 1 equals 0 so this is now integrable so integral of this is 1 third loan of u but your u is y cubed minus 1 plus x squared over 2 integral of negative 1 is negative x this is loan of x plus 1 and then you should have your arbitrary constant on the right hand side now we simplify multiply this by 3 okay so we get 1 here loan of x plus 1 so 3 here you have 3 here but you can put the 3 here as a power of x plus 1 okay so you have 3c here tapos you have 3 halves minus 3x here transpose you get 3x minus 3 halves x squared now this can be okay simplified as c okay then combine the loan here so you, you have x loan of y cubed minus 1 times x plus 1 raised to 3 this one x plus 1 raised to 3 and then time y cubed minus 1 now when you get rid of the loan here you should have exponents here so e raised to this expression but take note that e to the c you can split the power e to the c is c so you have c here and then you have e 3x minus 3 halves x squared so this will be your general general solution for example 2 we have an initial value problem so when when x is equal to 0 okay the value of y here is equal to 1 so these are your initial values for x and y okay so this is dy we get rid of 1 plus x squared by multiplying by 1 over x squared plus 1 or 1 over 1 plus x squared uh, this is dx so we get rid of y squared here by multiplying by 1 over y squared okay and then we will obtain dy over y squared and then x squared over x squared plus 1 and then this is integrable so you have 0 here okay this is y raised to negative 2 and then dividing x squared by x squared plus 1 will give you 1 minus 1 over x x squared plus 1 this is improper no same same degree so this is the quotient okay this is now integrable so this is negative uh, y raised to negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over y integral of negative 1 is negative x this is negative negative so plus integral of this is arc tangent of x and then mm -hmm arbitrary constant and then we substitute the initial conditions okay the value of c will be equal to negative 1 you have you have negative 1 over 1 minus 0 plus arc tangent no okay which is equal to zero also this is zero this is zero 
Okay, so C must be equal to negative 1. And then, substitute in the original equation. So, this becomes negative 1. And then, try to solve, express for y in terms of x. You will get this as your final answer. So, this is your particular solution.